guys, Steve Weber here, and uh, today I want to show you a 3D print that I call Chompy the Alamigator. Uh, this is one of my own designs. Uh, you can download it now off Thingiverse, and I think you're really going to like it, so stick around. In today's episode, I want to show you a design called Chompy the Alamigator. Uh, this is actually one of my own designs, um, and I, the reason I started working on it was I wanted to see how many uh, captured joints I could make in a single print. Uh, so I wanted to make all these different types of uh, bins, and um, this is all a single piece. You don't have to assemble it. It actually folds up and comes off of the print bed uh, in a folded position in order to fit on the print bed. Um, this was one of my first prototypes. Uh, it doesn't have movable feet, uh, it just has a, some joints here and um, the mouth opens. Uh, this, is a, this is a later prototype here that has the feet. And uh, this is a more recent one here. Uh, it has eyes that actually rotate, mouth that opens and closes, feet that turn and move up and down, uh, the back turns, the tail swivels, um, and it has uh, Lego bumps on the back so you can sit a little Lego guy on there and he'll ride on it. Um, so this was a really fun design to make, and I learned a lot about how to design for 3D printing. Um, if I did it all over again, there's a lot of things that I would change. Um, for example, these joints, um, you know, are basically designed the way you would design a joint for con uh, conventional manufacturing. Uh, there's a lot of right angles, um, and what I've learned is when you're designing for 3D printing, that's totally the wrong way to go about it. Um, you know, if you look at some of the better designs out there, you don't you notice that there's not right angles in the joints. Everything's 45 degrees. Um, that makes it a lot easier to print and require a lot less support material. Uh, when this guy prints, he comes off the printer covered in, in supports and you have to spend a lot of time cleaning him up. So. Um, but he's still a really fun design and it, he's been really successful. I've got, um, you know, dozens of makes on Thingiverse and, and, and even more likes and collects. So, um, it's a really fun design to print and I hope you'll print one out. Um, if you want to make it even cooler, what you can do is you can change filaments part way through like I did on this one. Uh, and then I'll give them a neat two-tone effect. Um, Thank you for tuning in to the show today, and uh, I encourage you, if you enjoyed what you saw, give me a subscribe, give me a thumbs up, uh, and don't forget to follow me on social media, and don't forget to check out my other videos, and uh, keep printing, keep making, and uh, keep rocking on.